After the last few days, we could all use some good news, and that's what the Musial Awards are all about. They take place every year in St. Louis, but the athletes and coaches who get the awards come from all over North America. Tonight in our Making a Difference report, we travel to Wisconsin to meet three of our award winners. They stopped a basketball game to stand up to bullies. There is one road you'll never find on a map of Kenosha, Wisconsin, Easy Street. Well, it's ordinary people doing the best they can. But ordinary people can sometimes do extraordinary things. <laughs> Scooter Terrian, Chase Vasquez, and Miles Rodriguez don't consider themselves anything special. I can't hear nothing. But their friendship is. <laughs> Some even call them the Three Musketeers. I thought you missed. You said the Three Musketeers, I said the Three Stooges. <laughs> Why are you mad? Either way, they usually hold court on the basketball court. Oh! I'm like in the guard position, so I like just having a game in my hands. Oh! In fact, oh. for these three teenagers, there's only one subject they like talking about more than hoops. Your defense. <laughs> and that's girls. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. And from now on, there will always be one girl that will be the super glue that binds them together. For 15-year-old Desiree Andrews, the world is a stage. Because she has Down syndrome, words can sometimes fail her. So she lets her music and dancing do the talking. That's why her family was thrilled when she was named to the middle school cheerleading squad. I didn't really have my hopes up that she would get that opportunity. And when she did, I was, I was just like, bursting. That was also a big day for three of her friends, basketball players who in their own way are Desiree's cheerleaders. Desiree is probably the happiest person I know. She's always smiling every time I see her. And those smiles must be contagious. Some gyms are named after players, others after coaches, but the gym at Lincoln Middle School became known as Dee's house. She'd get standing ovations and cheers and you could yell her name. When the boys are playing, they're focused on basketball. But during one timeout, they started focusing on something else. Just like notice it from a distance. Off to their left, they noticed something wasn't right. Our coach called timeout, and during our timeout, uh, we noticed that people were bullying Desiree. As Dee was cheerleading, some kids were heckling. We looked at it for a while to make sure like we were like seeing it correctly. Then three boys, known better for taking shots, took a stand. They left the coach's huddle and walked over to the other side of the gym. It happened so quickly, it was like they didn't hesitate. It was just like immediate. They were over there and making it clear that that wasn't going to happen anymore. The kids are just looking at us like, what are they doing? Why are they getting off the bench? And then we walked up to them and then we told them to stop doing that. That's not right. And they just shut up. It was merely three friends sticking up for another friend. And though it took just a moment, it's had a lasting effect. Well, I think they're, they're heroes. I, I really do. It made me feel good. It made me think that, hey, I did something right. Hopefully, this will set off a wave of other kids trying to do the same thing to protect those that, you know, she's not really able to protect herself. Is this your favorite movie? Yeah. Yeah. Back in Desiree's room, plastered on the walls are posters of her favorite artists. We have Katie. Yeah. Katie Perry. Katie Perry. And who's Taylor that? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. But there's one item she cherishes more than all the others. A gift from the players she calls her boys. She talks about them constantly. Um, they signed a basketball for her, and it's, that's her prized possession. I just wanted to let him know. As her father, how much I appreciated it. 
Around here, three boys with courage makes a majority. We hope that people will now know that they can take a stand. If it wasn't Desiree, if it was somebody else, I would have still did it because it's not right to get bullied. So the next time you're in Kenosha, don't bother looking for the three musketeers because their number is now up to four. She'll never forget it. I know none of us in my family will forget it. it we'll remember it forever. Those four musketeers will be in St. Louis for the Musial Awards, and so will golfing legend Arnold Palmer.